Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And honey, let me tell you something. The last couple of hours, see, I don't have to go to sleep, get some sleep on motherfuckers, and come the fuck back. Let me tell y'all something. People sitting up here acting like they on some apology tour, honey. And they turn around, and all of a sudden they link up with another op-ass nigga. And I'm talking about Cal from the Neighborhood Talk. I'm sorry. Y'all like Cardi B's attention so motherfucking much. It's killing y'all on the inside. Okay? Y'all want to... to y'all literally go to y'all fullest extent to drag Cardi B out of a fucking corner. And then when she say something, everybody want to sit up there and act like they don't know why she's mad. Oh, she's mad. Oh, she's this. Oh, she's that. Why is she acting like that? Why is she doing this to me? Y'all full of shit. And I'm talking about Kyle from Neighborhood Talk. And I'm talking about fucking Tasha K. Now, all of a fucking sudden, you plan to go live with Kyle because... Cal been going through it on Instagram, putting out all these text messages and all this shit. Instagram been lit. Let me tell you who ain't keeping up with all that dumb shit, though. Me. I fell asleep on every fucking body. And I wake up, and all of a sudden, Tasha K apology tour is over. She taking back everything she said. And she gonna be dragging bitches for 2020. You dragging bitches and you saying that you're taking back the apology because you heard Cardi B's live. And Cardi B is not fucking with you. You understand? You now all of a sudden, Cal and you are friends. All y'all ops. And y'all wondering why she don't fuck with y'all? You wondering why? Tasha K, I don't even understand why the fuck you think she should even fucking... You said you was in her inbox because you wanted to help her with the other case. But and yet, y'all two got a lawsuit against each other. I don't understand how the fuck that shit work. Make it make sense. It's bullshit. Y'all full of shit. Y'all all full of shit. You're full of shit. Y'all bother that girl and y'all bother that girl and y'all bother that girl. And then y'all sit up there and act like y'all don't know why she's upset. Let me see something real quick. Like, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And I'm kind of tired of trying to get it. You make it be exhausted. A bitch yawning on and shit. It's just ridiculous. But then, like, I hate when people. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and, and I know that the person is watching me right fucking now. Because this is what they do. People that don't fucking like you, they just always watching you. They do things, they, they do things to provoke you. And so they can act like they fucking dumb. Let me tell you something, right? For a long time, you know, I know people that be working in these places for a long time. These pages been playing games with me, right? And I already know who who was doing it. And this person got fired from, from a place. And when they got fired from this place, uh, the owners of this page... They were trying to get cool with me. And I was like, no. Because when somebody from your page was liking shit about me, and I was telling y'all about it, y'all was acting like I'm crazy. When people was deleting comments... And let me tell y'all something. Like, I hate when people... I'm that I used to make on your page, y'all used to say that I'm bugging out, that I'm crazy or anything, and all right. So I const so there was this one time that I thought this person was uh, was managing this page that always talk bad about me, and I admitted that I was wrong for that. But just because I was wrong for that doesn't mean that I used to make on your page, y'all used to say that I'm bugging out, that I'm crazy. Or Let me tell you something. That was from Cal's page. And notice how he only got those two parts from the live. Why you just didn't record the whole motherfucking shebang? This is what I be talking about. And after that, he got the nerve to put all these fucking text messages up here on his shit. And I'm not here for it. 
I'm not here for it. People want to sit up there and say, oh, Cardi B shouldn't be provoked that easily. And she shouldn't. Oh, Cardi B shouldn't sound off to everything. She shouldn't. And I wish that she would not do that. But certain things, she's 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 not me. She's not you. She's her. But I really wish she would get on some Beyonce shit and not pay y'all motherfuckers no mind. Because y'all motherfuckers need clout so bad, it's fucking ridiculous. Y'all are literally over there fucking with the girl. And then when she get mad, it's like, I don't know what I did to her. I'm tired of her bullying me. Now Cal is saying he's being bullied. Ain't that familiar? That's part of Tasha K. whole fucking case, right? Now y'all friends. Now Tasha goes dudes alive and say she take back all her apologies and her and Cal is getting ready to go live and X, Y, and Z. Let me tell you something. We never fucking believed you, bitch. We never believed that you were sorry. Because in the apology video, as you talking about Lovely T and recording her, you fucking smiling and kiki kiki. No, bitch. We never fucking believed you. We never believed you, Tasha. We never believed that you was motherfucking sorry. We never believed that you were sorry, sweetie. It really don't make no motherfucking sense for you to sit up there. And it's funny. It's funny. Because you're doing everything on your backup channel. Because you're saying that you can't go live on your other channel. But you're going live on the backup channel, I guess from your phone or whatever. And that's cool. That's cool. But, girl, for you to say that you you was never sorry, we smart motherfuckers knew that already. Smart people already knew you wasn't sorry because the apology that you gave was bullshit. Oh, I'ma not call her Cardi B when she don't do nothing. I'ma I'm a, I'm a call her Cold Sore B when she do something to me. Or when she act, when she acts stupid. Why? You going through great limbs to explain the fakeness. What I mean by that is, why call a girl cold sore? Why call a girl anything that y'all have a lawsuit against? Why you keep, like, talking about her? You have a whole lawsuit against this girl, right? And I understand there's a whole freedom of speech thing and it's your job to do commentary on certain things. But why do you feel the need to always comment and call her names knowing that that's going to get her mad? Knowing, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. That's part of your strategy to call her names and call her out her name so she can come out the woodworks and do lives and shit. I'm going to need Cardi to not do another live. Because truth be told, y'all doing that shit on purpose. It's easy to poke that bear. It's easy to get that bear out of hibernation. It's easy. And my thing is, y'all fuck with her and fuck with her and fuck with her. Because y'all want that bear to come out of hibernation. Y'all want that bear to say, oh, oh, she's bullying me. She's doing this to me. Oh, she's threatening me. And she says she's going to pull up on me. Niggas say they're going to pull up on every somebody every day, five, and they never fucking do it. Oh, because it's Cardi B. Oh, I'm taking her serious because she said it. She texted it and she said it in her life that she was going to pull up on me. And boy, please. Now, Cal want to sit over there and be crying. She's going to pull up on me. She's going to do this and she's going to do that. And I'm scared. Boy, you ain't fucking scared. I see a tag team. I see That's what the fuck I see. I see that Tasha K got the motherfucking lawsuit. One minute Tasha K is apologizing. Next minute all this bullshit is coming out. And the next minute you going live with with, with Kyle? Come on. Two and two is four. He going to join your lawsuit too, bitch? 
Yeah, I said that shit. Because that's what I believe is about to fit and to fucking happen. And it ain't gonna happen real fast, but you're gonna use some of that shit that he got going on over there as evidence against Cardi B. And see, Cardi B keep falling for the shit every motherfucking time. But see, I wish I was Cardi B. Because I would pay y'all motherfuckers no motherfucking mind. I would pay y'all no fucking mind. Y'all don't need her attention like that. That bitch is doing what the fuck she gotta do, making her money, and y'all fucking with her. And it seemed like y'all only fuck with her for the clicking of you or something like that. And everybody keeps saying, oh, oh, Cardi B, Cardi B, she called us this, she called us that. Come the fuck on. Grow the fuck up, B. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. Oh, cause I'm coming into 2020 and, and I'm going to make it better. And I'm not going to talk about this person and that person. Then you call this person unlovely T. You so motherfucking jealous. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. At this point. You sitting up here talking about she's unlovely, bitch. You are trash. Fuck Tasha K. You are tr- First of all, you never fucking... We, we, I never fucking believed that you was apologetic. I don't know what video or what live everybody was fucking looking at. If everybody go look at that apology video on Tasha's backup channel, why no gang, on YouTube, she was never apologetic. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought. Y'all, some of y'all are real fucking delusional. And I'm talking about the people in her comments. Oh, because you, you, why are you apologizing and X, Y, and Z? Because at some point in, in that whole shit, she kind of felt bad. But I don't really believe that she felt bad. I believe Tasha K, she didn't do a live, right? She didn't do the live on fuckery Friday. And she had to give y'all something to talk about for the weekend. Notice how everything is on that backup channel. Everything for the whole weekend is on the backup channel. Everything. Every fucking thing. Oh, the things that I can't talk about on my other channel, I'm going to talk about on this channel. Like what, sis? Because you call Cardi B, Cole Saw B over there too. So what the fuck is you talking about? You call her unlovely, you call unlovely T on that, <clears throat> on that same platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. On that same platform. You talked about daytime tea time on that same platform. So what is it that you're going to talk about that's different on the Rhino channel? Because if you dragging bitches over there on the Unwind with Tasha K channel. Oh, so the dragging is going to be worse on the backup channel is what you're trying to say? Because whatever you're saying, you're saying on both channels. Oh, you're trying to build up subscribers on that channel? Okay. And by any means, I'm not saying I have a lot of subscribers because I don't. But see how I'm humble with my shit? I'm going to always keep the same energy like I said in my last video. But it's funny how when Tasha sit up there and say she's a, so apologetic, y'all lap, y'all, y'all sop that shit up like a fucking biscuit. Oh, she say she's sorry. Did y'all look at the video or was y'all eyes closed, glued the fuck shut? That girl was not apologetic at all. Like I said, if she was so sorry when she started the beef at, she should have ended the beef on the main channel. But she didn't because you know why? She used the backup channel because, you know, in Twitter and all of that, you didn't start the beef on Twitter. You actually recorded Lovely T crying and then put the fucking... You put it out on your main channel. And you only did that to Lovely T because Lovely T rebunked your story about the whole Cardi B Star Marie bullshit. 
She didn't want to fuck with you. Lovely T trends the internet by her motherfucking self. She didn't need you to trend the motherfucking internet. So now, oh, I take back my apology. I'm going to be dragging bitches all 2020. Why? Because Cardi B said what she said about you in her life. It is what it is. All y'all motherfuckers is corny. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I hate about a corny motherfucker, though. And this is what I hate. And I've said it time and time again. When you... When you in beef with some fucking body. And all of a sudden... You find out somebody else is beefing with that same person. And y'all team the fuck up. Both of y'all weak. That's just how I see it. Both of y'all weak. Because you never really fucked with that motherfucker from the beginning. Now all of a sudden y'all find out y'all got common enemies. And y'all link up like motherfucking Voltron. Both of y'all weak. You weak. Y'all can't take that beef by yourself. That's like jumping a person. That's like jumping a person in the street. It's one girl fighting you, and all of a sudden, you get another girl to jump up with you. Because you really can't fuck with her. You really can't beat her. So you get somebody else to assist you in the jumping process. It's the same motherfucking thing. I don't understand what y'all not getting. Tasha needs somebody to link up with her with the whole Cardi B situation. She needs help. She needs it. And Cal is the perfect person. He's a blogger. They're friends with the quotations in the motherfucking air. All that. But they both weak as fuck. They both weak. They poke and poke at people. And then when people come out and start talking about them, it's like, but why are they talking about me? I didn't do anything to that person. And this and this and this and that. And the third. Honey. Please. Please. They do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Bitches is mad. Bitches is trash. Mm, I see a drought. <laughs> Cardi B need to get on her shit and not even fucking see y'all motherfuckers. She don't need to see y'all. She don't need to hear y'all. She don't need to do nothing. All she need to do is get to the motherfucking bars. Get to the motherfucking music. Don't pay these dust buckets no motherfucking mind. Because they gonna always talk about you because they have nothing else to talk about. They have nothing else to talk about. And she's right about that. When motherfuckers don't like you, they always watching you. Facts. Facts. And people may say, oh, well, if you always watching Tasha K. Because Tasha K does things to want to be seen all the time. I just happened to breeze by and her video was right there. And I'm not even a fucking subscriber to her motherfucking backup channel. At all. But it's funny how her fucking backup channel always popping up on my motherfucking page. I guess it's because it comes underneath... Things that you may like and all that dumb shit. Don't ever get it motherfucking twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. I just don't have time to be sitting up there waiting for a motherfucker to go live now. I don't know if her and Cal went live. I don't know. I don't see a clip of it nowhere. Yes, I did go searching for it. This is how real I am, though. Of course, if I'm going to talk about something, I'm going to go search for it. But Cal did have some of Cardi B's live on his page. Some of it. The key points that he wanted to put out there to the world is what he presented to y'all on a silver platter. And y'all sitting up there sopping it up like a motherfucking biscuit. Y'all sopping it up. Which means to me, if somebody... With a little bit of numbers. Tell y'all something. Y'all gonna believe it's facts all the fucking time. They don't like Cardi B. They gonna always poke at her. And then show her in a negative light. Like see what she's doing to me? But what y'all gotta think about is. 
what the fuck did you do to her? Nobody's not, nobody's asking that question. Nobody's asking the question, what prompted Cardi to go in on Cal? What prompted Cardi to do the lies? Nobody's asking that question. Nobody. Nobody's asking those questions. Because there's a reason for everything. You do something, it's always going to be a reaction from that next person if you do something to that person. Why today, all of a sudden, people are real strategic about shit that they fucking do. And if y'all don't see what the fuck I see, I I don't know what else to tell y'all. Everything is real tactical. I'm apologize today. And I'm going to take it back tomorrow. It, I don't even believe it was a full 24 hours. Y'all said nothing saying it was 24 hours. Just because it changed from night to dark. That don't mean it was 24 hours. Tasha can't know damn well she got a whole lawsuit against that girl. I'm going to send somebody else to fuck with her though. That's what that looked like. Crazy thing is. Like I said, her and Cal look weak. Y'all formed up like Voltron and shit just so y'all can fuck with with, 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 with Cardi B. Uh, and soon as she dropped all of that and said what she said in her live, now your apology is being taken back? Honey, if you, if you so in a new space and you want to be so apologetic and you mean it, that person can say whatever they want. That don't mean your apology is being taken back. No, because your apology was never real. From the jump, sis. Y'all act like that girl was lying over there. I ain't hear one person say, but she lied though. You ain't hear nothing from nobody saying that she lied. You ain't hear Tasha K say, well, Cardi B is a liar. She lied in that live. You ain't hear her say that. Go look at it. Go look at her little fucking thing. She didn't say Cardi B was a liar. All she said was that she's dragging people and she's taking apologies back because Cardi B said exactly what the fuck she said. Y'all be picking with people. And then y'all call yourself, oh, because I'm a blogger and I'm supposed to be talking about people and celebrities and shit. Y'all hide behind that fucking, that fucking image of being a blogger so y'all can fuck with people. But what, what's the difference between you doing what you do to Cardi B and the motherfucking bully? Y'all saying that she's bullying y'all, but in all reality, y'all poking at her and that's not bullying? I'll wait. Y'all poke at her. And that's not a form of bullying. That girl was minding her motherfucking business over there. Minding her business. And see. When you want to be a victim. You're not going to really pull out the full story. Because you don't want nobody to see through your shit. You don't want nobody to see your fault in the whole bullshit. But let me tell you something. I see for I see something else is brewing. You don't link up with 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 this chick over here, and now y'all the ultimate duo. Come the fuck on, B. Come on, come on. It is just been a funny Sunday. It's like after five o'clock. Everything just started going haywire on Instagram. Everything started going haywire on YouTube. I, it, it's just sad. And then she has the nerve to say, oh, because you know they're going to put out videos on me. Bitch, we've been talking about you because you've been fucking up. You want, to, you want people to talk about you, girl. I'm so sick and tired of people mad when people make videos about them. Don't be mad because that's what you want. You do things for shock value. That's what you do. And then you get mad because people talking about you. But then when Cardi get mad because people talking about her, she's a bad person. But 
you are mad because people are putting out videos about you? Ain't that the pot calling the kettle and the kettle calling the pot? Like, what the fuck is that? I don't see what y'all, I don't understand what y'all not understanding. Y'all are actually saying Cardi B is mad when people post her and when people do things to her and people talk about her. And then y'all flip it on your backup channel. And then you say, oh, because you know they're going to be making videos about me. You know people be hating. And this and this and that and the third. Pause. Ain't Didn't you just say that Cardi was just doing the same thing and then you turned right around and just did the same thing? Tactical. People think they playing chess and shit. Still playing checkers. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not, I see through the bullshit. I actually sit back and see through the bullshit. I actually sit back and see through bullshit. I caught another live earlier at the end of the live and it was Marv Radio and Amar Wiggins called up to Marv Radio and they settled out their differences and they said, sorry, he said, sorry or whatever. And they agreed to disagree. And people was, like, really trying to go in. Yeah, some of y'all like drama. Why two people, two black people, can't just agree to disagree without all the extra bullshit? Go over there with Tasha. She liked that drama shit. Oh, don't talk about me. Talk about me. <laughs> don't talk about me. Talk about me. Type of, when motherfuckers say you don't talk about them, they want you to talk about them. Is you crazy? That's a psychology move 101. Take the class. Oh, they're going to be making videos about me, and they're going to be talking all this craziness. And it, it, you already trying to spin the narrative, trying to explain why people is going to be making videos about you, sis. Who you think you're playing with? This is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it to be fucking funny as I'm sitting here talking about it with y'all. This shit is crazy. Don't talk about me. Talk about me. Oh, they gonna be doing this and they gonna be saying this and that. You already trying to spin the narrative. Oh, for so we can, so some of the people, cause not we, cause I ain't gonna say that shit. So for some of the people that's watching you, is gonna say, so when it do happen, oh well, Tasha K did say that everybody was gonna be talking about her. Girl. <laughs> Y'all not getting it. I'm going to need y'all to get it. I'm going to need y'all to really watch the video and listen to the video. Because listening and hearing is two different things. I'm going to need y'all to get into it. I'm going to need y'all to get into it. Because when you listen to a motherfucker, you really hear what the fuck they really try to say. Okay? She is using psychology on y'all motherfuckers. Okay? Psychology 101. <laughs> I can't. I just had to. I woke up. Why is it that when I always wake up, it's some bullshit going on? And y'all wonder why I do my videos in the dark? Because it be dark time when I find out about this. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, y'all are crazy. I don't understand what y'all not see. I'm trying to explain it to y'all. Watch the videos. I've been talking about this shit for the longest part of time now. And it's funny how it's just like flipping, 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 flipping. Like, she can't do nothing that I'm not going to laugh at. That's a fact. I'm going to always laugh at Tasha K. I'm going to always laugh at her. And I mean laugh at her. Not with her. At her. Like, come on, sis. Come on. When she put out the little statement and called the cold sore, but then she said she apologized all in the same breath. Like, what? <laughs> I'm going to shave you Why I apologize to you because I really don't mean it, bitch. Like, girl. 
<laughs> baby, y'all better stop acting like y'all don't see what the fuck I see, baby. Because if you don't, then you're blind, baby. You're blind to the fact. <laughs> that girl is crazy. I can't, yo. I can't. But let me go, because I don't want to keep repeating myself. I'm going to laugh myself back to sleep. Maybe something else will happen. <laughs> so, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, subscribe. And like I said, she's a fraud. <laughs> Later, YouTube.